If you live in a house built before 1960, you may still have a charred relic of Southern California's smoggy history, the backyard incinerator. Before the days of regular curbside trash service, a major portion of household trash was burned in small concrete, cinder block, brick, or metal incinerators in suburban and rural backyards. In the big cities, many apartment buildings, businesses, schools, and factories, had their own incinerators, fed and tended by a maintenance person. From the earliest days of community living, humans have struggled with managing their garbage, sewage, and discarded junk. The great ancient cities became overwhelmed by trash as populations grew and they began to require residents to haul garbage a minimum distance from the city, where it could rot and stink, with fewer complaints. During the Industrial Revolution from about 1760 to 1840, garbage and waste became untenable, particularly in large European cities. It was during this period that large cities began creating municipal codes to manage waste. It seems difficult to believe, but there was not a direct health risk correlation between garbage, sewage, and dirty water, until the mid-1800s. Air quality was identified as a health concern in very early societies because of the immediate effects of breathing smoke and contaminated air. Southern California's population began booming in the 1880s, and the continued explosive growth created complex waste disposal problems. They were handled in a haphazard and disconnected fashion until the mid-1900s.